Sports After Dark. I am here with one of my partners in crime, Addie, because we're going to get our hair done. So we're off to the Grand Floridian Spa, um, which is obviously next to the Grand Floridian. It's a separate area. It's attached to their gym near their um, tennis courts and all that, over by the Wedding Pavilion and the DVC property. It is a fantastic spa. But it is Grand Floridian price, so if you're not getting sticker shot, you go there and get the best haircut of your life, the best nails you've ever had, you're gonna pay a little bit for it, but it is worth it. Why are we going there, Addison? Because I have graduation coming up this Thursday. It would be May 9th for anyone who's watching this past the date that it was the video was published. So but Brad, it's graduation, so I have to get a pretty haircut. It's Pratt Papa moment. My kid is graduating high school May 9th. She has done outstanding. She has finished some college classes. She's going to UCF next. It's all good. So we have got our dress yesterday. We're getting our hair done today. And then on Thursday, whoop, walk it out. Wednesday, we have kind of a special thing planned, which we can't tell you about. Ooh. Um, because she doesn't know. Thursday, has some special stuff planned that she doesn't know about. Ooh. And we're gonna go from there. So, we're on our way to Grand Flow. So, as you know, we leave from Animal Kingdom Lodge. Why? It's a backwater property. We come straight up Oceala Parkway, which is that road right outside of that. We come down off the ramp towards Epcot Magic Kingdom, because that's where Grand Floridian is located. That is World Drive, and that is what we're blasting down right now. I want to point out something very important to everybody who's watching this. There's almost no traffic. This is midday. It is 10 of 12. Nobody's out. Very few. And here's why. And this is an insider tip. Whenever there's a big weekend, a big weekend event, if it's a race, for us it was a very high, it was a national cheerleading competition. That weekend is chaos. There is people everywhere, every hotel is booked, everything's more expensive, the parks are nuts. The day after it's over, you'll have a lull. The day after that, it's quiet. Because the day after it ends, some people extend their stay. Two days, they never do, they go home. So if you want to plan a trip and catch a gap, which is very rare now for Disney, they don't do a lot of quiet moments, they fill up a lot of good stuff. It's a day, two days after a major event that really occupies a lot of the park. Then you'll have low wait times, cheaper rooms, better driving, better access to your transportation. It's all good. So, that's the tip of the day. Right up here to our right is Epcot. That goes right out to the ball. We love Epcot. We just put a vlog up on our trip to Epcot. Oh, 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 we love Epcot. But, we're going right towards the gate. Along our way, if you hear a sudden squeal and the car shudders, we're looking for our white whale, which is Zootopia Wrapped Bus. They need to start wrapping the buses with characters. And the game we have, and if you know our channel, we're a lot of those buses up. We love the wrap buses. These are the best thing they've done for transportation. If we see the Zootopia bus, which is the mystery bus, the one we've only seen once or twice, so that's our white whale, our Moby Dick. We've literally seen it out of the corner of our eye. It's literally passed in front of us, and we didn't have our camera up. It's just been on like the rarest occasions. We almost think, did we really see it or didn't we see it? So we're looking for it. So that's all just heads up. We go in here, let get a little crazy, that's why. But what we always get crazy about is that. That is the gates for the Magic Kingdom. Guys, that is one of the prettiest sights there is in Disney World. It's how to get into Magic Kingdom. It's one of our favorite places. I almost went to the wrong set of resorts. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Right next to the gates, it splits. So right, we got Contemporary Wellness Lodge, to the left, we got Colonies and Grand Flow. Why? They wrap around Magic Kingdom. Both, all three of the hotels, four, well, three of the hotels before are on Bay Lake. The fourth is off a little bit, but down by Contemporary. So, we gotta come to the left, come down this way. And what is great about this route, it's great about showing you this way, there is nobody Magic Kingdom today. I'm sorry. Distraction moment. Parking lot is at lunch. Is empty. Not, not empty, but 
really not at any kind of capacity. Wow. Out of the, there's the Magic Kingdom parking lot, it's sectioned off into three sections, and it literally, there's cars up to the first one and a half of them. That is actually pretty close to the unheard of. So, give you that little tidbit. So, that's good. It goes back to the point we made earlier that, hey, it is just a different time. So, sorry, doing three things at once. So, what, um, Oh, so here's a little tidbit. You'll see all the construction. See the cones? See all the road work? This is the insider news that we all continue to do give you is they have announced the expansion of Magic Kingdom. They're saying it's the largest expansion of the music park they've done to date. For any of you who are hardcores, you know when Fantasyland opened, it was a massive expansion. They're now expanding this. This road work is it addressed the increased volume of cars coming down through this way. Now, do I think we can have a separate entrance like you do at Epcot? Interesting question. I will keep you updated. But they've been doing this work for a while to expand this road by these two doors. And there really isn't, before the expansion, the traffic needing it to be expanded. So it raised a lot of questions. So they announced this expansion. So we're telling you right here, this is what it's about. So they're expanding this all the way down. Now, there's a firehouse just down past Grand Flow, and the firehouse, and the firehouse is going to be where this thing stops, and I believe they may be putting a second entrance. Now that is conjecture, that is me guessing. Merely speculation. It is Florida Parks After Dark speculation, and it's probably only my speculation, because I'm not sure my daughter agrees, but I think so. But the other thing I want to show you is that. That's the new DVC Polynesian expansion. They're building that out too. So really this whole corner by Shades of Green, which is their military, um, get one for me? Their military um, only hotel, which I applaud. Thank you to those who have served. Um, Disney recognizes them for their own basic property. So that's right where all this construction is happening. So this is a, an exciting time. But it's more exciting, we're at the Grand Flow. We're going to the spot. So listen, we can't have the camera running while we go through security. That's a big no-no in the world of Disney. So we're gonna tell you, like this video. Just go ahead and like it. Go ahead and subscribe to our channel. We will show you more and more and more. There'll be more coming from today's events as well. You guys take care, and I'm gonna show you one quick view of the grand because it's beautiful. Take care, have a great day. So Addison, what are we doing today? We are at the spa at Disney's Grand Floridian. And why would we be here? I have to get my hair cut for high school graduation. Which is when? Which is on Thursday. Oh yeah! yeah. Let's go get it. So Ed, tell us, what was it like? It was incredible. I mean, I think they did an excellent job. Without a doubt. Haircut. I definitely feel ready to take on graduation. Let's go get it, girl. Nice job. You look beautiful. Thank you.